feels pretty realistic. Uh, I'm going to insert a vaginal hand so that I can ideally apply pressure and have the uterus um, between my abdominal hand and my vaginal hand. That's what would be much, much more helpful. And now um, I'm going to massage the uterus and the problem is now the pelvis is stable, which is great. I feel like I can massage the uterus much better, but the abdominal wall obviously needs to be stabilized because now what I want to do is a fairly aggressive massage and and as I massage, if it was working, um, then now I'm getting descent of the fundus, which is good. Um, good descent of the fundus. Um, but again, the globular, firm, contracted uterus is now offset to the patient's right pelvic fossa instead of being in the midline. It feels like there's, in, in fact, no uterus here at all but rather it's over here. Um, okay. So it just needs to be stabilized, I think. Um, how about um, the, the rates of deflation and inflation? The, the rate of deflation that time was a little fast. It should be slower. Um, and uh, the, this, this abdominal wall needs to have a little more give to it, you know, so so that um, it, can, it can be anchored down and so that, it, you know, it, it's this action that there should be okay. rather than I just kept progressively getting it more taut. Okay. 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 And then um, what about the vagina while you're massaging? Oh, and, the, and then the other thing is, remember, um, the whole uterus needs to be up a little bit. It's, it's too deep. Okay, so it sinks too deeply right now. And then while you're massaging, is the vagina basically bleeding out? Basically and continuous there's blood coming from the vagina, and so the a person would be um, using their vaginal hand to hold the uterus up against their abdominal hand, and then periodically coming out to see how much blood is still blood coming, is out. coming out. Okay. But, but this is the normal position that somebody would have a vaginal hand, abdominal hand doing this, unless there's a cultural reason mm -hmm. why the vaginal hand wouldn't be used. But otherwise, it's a very effective bimanual procedure to have something to push against. Okay. Would, would you say that the uterus contracts sort of like an all-at-once thing, or are you pretty much manually contracting it the whole way? Or once you get to a certain point, the body kind of starts no, it's, contracting on its, it's own. I am I visualize it and feel it mm -hmm. as this. You know, here it is, and it comes down this way. Okay. Now we do have this notion that the fundus is this thick muscular part that needs to contract, get thicker, and contract down. The lower uterine segment is a thin, thinner part of the uterus, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's what's bleeding, not the fundus. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, that, that's what happens. And we talk about lower segment bleeding. But again, we would feel a very firm fundus, and we would see that there's still a lot of blood coming from inside the uterus. And that's what we would treat with a baku. Okay. So as you're doing the fundus massage, the fundus massage, are you kind of like moving down the body because yes. the uterus mm -hmm. comes, comes so the uterus that way? is coming down. Coming okay. Down. Okay, so you're not just like in the same spot. And I'm not just pushing down, mm -hmm. right, to make it flat like a pancake. Mm -hmm. I'm really, you know, massaging so that it comes from here down to here. Okay. 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 Um, oh, um, anatomically, where are you standing? Do you have to be standing? Are you usually standing between their so legs? So to do bimanual massage, I would be standing between the legs. But if I was, if there was already somebody there, right, uh, I could, and or I was tired, right, I could ask somebody to stand to the side of the patient, and then I would be massaging with a force directed downwards okay. and towards okay. her feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's, and when a nurse is just doing a fundal check. 
to see where the fungus is after delivery in relationship to the umbilicus. She's oftentimes doing it from the side. Mm -hmm. Most of the diagrams we saw were from mm -hmm. the side. Yeah. Yeah. And so then this, you know, the other thing would be the landmark of the umbilicus being very important because we use that to mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. well, where, where the uterus is, how contracted it is, mm -hmm. and there's a chart, U plus three, mm -hmm. yeah. meaning U at the umbilicus plus three finger breaths or three centimeters okay. above or below. Okay. And so it works nicely, you know, either from the side or from the pinion. Okay. Okay. Um, any, do you guys have any other questions about from the massage? Mm -hmm. It's the first okay. time we see it. <laughs> this is the 